Hey all, this is Anirudh. Today I am going to continue my first series, Power of Basics. Today is the fifth edition. In this edition, I wanted to talk to uh, you about CSS in Power Apps. So, frankly speaking, there is no CSS, but concept of CSS I have used in many of my past project. Uh, why we need CSS? First of all, let's say there is a theme palette in Power Apps. It is already exist. So any kind of theme you can choose. So your button color or your font size of labels will automatically get changed. But uh, let's consider your company's branding color is not there. Okay, so your company is expecting something like orange kind of theme everywhere. So background will be orange and button will be white or some blue color kind of things. Uh, so one thing you, you can do first of all, every screen you will put one form. In this form, there will be automatically generated that label, text box and everything. You put, you select one by one and you can change the font size, color for every level then you can select every text box or drop down and change the border color, uh, fill select or something like that. Everything you can change by one by one. First of all, it will take some time. Second is let's say your company's uh, client uh, said, no, the font size is very big or small. You need to change. Then again, you need not to go for selecting every one, every uh, level one by one. And then you need, you cannot change. I mean, it will be a uh, time consuming job for you. Uh, so keep in mind all these things. You can create one pseudo kind of CSS. I will uh, show how you can do. There are two method I have used. One is you can create pseudo kind of CSS and another is uh, you will create one hidden uh, screen. In this screen, you can put one level and that level you can change and that level you can refer to other screen okay i will show how i have done it okay so let's go to uh, slide by slide so first uh, doing uh, before doing all this thing what i wanted to know is that uh, there are two kind of color one is hexa and one is rgba okay for hexa uh if you are from html uh, background i mean web developer or some somewhere you already know about this that is well and good if you don't know so it will be better to learn these basic things before going to change any color okay so this is hex hex uh, color so it will be rr gg and bb red green and blue so uh, the color code will be 0 to 9 then a to f uh, if FF in place of RR means red, then it is a full red actually. And then 00 and 00 means there is nothing in green and blue. So it will be only red. Okay. Uh, similarly, 00 in place of red and FF for in place of green and 00 for uh, blue. So it will be only green. Okay. F is maximum color and 0 is the lowest color of that value. Then all if uh, if all are F, then it will be white. All are zero, then it will be black. Okay. Then RGBA. RGBA is a uh, another uh, extra channel. It is alpha. Alpha is mean for transparency kind of things. So similarly, this RGB every uh, color have that code zero to two fifty five. You need to put. So RGBA is a function in Power Apps. So there, you, if you put 255, comma 0, comma 0, comma 1, then in red, in place of red, you are actually putting high uh, color, and then there will be no color for green and blue. And A means alpha is 1. That means there is a no transparency. If it is 0 0.5, means 50% transparency, kind of. OK. So uh, similarly, I shown you how you can put your own color code uh, based on your understanding okay or requirement then there will be uh, there uh, i have provided one link that link uh, is for let's say your client giving you a hexa color and you need to convert with the rgba in this uh, 
this side uh, there is a process you if you place your uh, hexa color automatically give you the rgb color method 1 as i said earlier so in on start event you will create one variable global variable and there will be in that variable there will be some property kind of things so dot color dot size dot font i will use for label only so it is just for label you can create for button uh, for this kind of css or uh, other uh, controls and there is a met method too as i said so it will be a hidden screen in this hidden screen uh, you can put one label and that label you can change the color okay and you uh, rename that label as a lvl style let's say and then in the form wherever there is a label you just select it and put in place of color lvl style dot color so automatically whatever the color you have assigned here automatically all of the form will change with that color so tomorrow maybe your branding company branding color is getting changed so from orange to it maybe yellow or red or something like that so whenever you change everything will get changed okay okay so let's go to code so i said uh, in the app on start event i have provided all the uh, css kind of things so for label radio button text box drop down if it is mandatory then uh, you can put some red color there okay now how you will use it so first of all i'll put one form okay in this form i'll put student word title and put a name let's say okay now i need to change the color so label color is different for me so i will go first unlock it so in the color so i will check it here first so there is a level css level what are the uh, property color size and font i have uh, created here so i'll go here in the color i will put style level dot color so in the font i'll change again and the size i'll change it okay so one by one you need to do uh you will think that uh, if you will think that it will be a tedious job one by one selection and then do the things yes there is no choice even if you don't uh, do any kind of css kind of th that then what you will do you will go here you will change one by one correct you will select the font you will select it that color will be not there then you will go to the custom and change select or something like that so you need to do it one by one select and do but one good part of doing one one time because next time you need not to change again if their size is very small or something like that you will just go there and change the color change the uh, size okay let's say 25 and i will run it it automatically get increase everywhere okay now there is a trick so you know one thing you cannot select this this and this i mean because there is a different data card if the controls are in different data card you cannot select at once that is a problem so to overcome this problem let's so you won't trick for that okay i'll break every data card now what i will do is like i will select the form I will first of all I will put it new then I will change the layout okay and then I will undo it if you see if I undo what it happened 
is it is automatically get selected but key versus value but what i wanted to change only key not value so i will press control click on the value okay then all the keys are selected now what i will do is i'll put the color I'll copy this. I'll not click anywhere outside. Put it here. Select on the font and put it in size. That's all. That is the one of the way you can do like this. Again, I mean, you need to do for value. So go select. So now the values I'll do. I will not do that drop down because drop down things are different. So now there is a border color. So style text box dot border color. Okay. and size that's all so for uh, drop downs you need to select again and you need to change your CSS I am not going to show you again you will do your own so this is the one of the style you can apply second you can do like this so you will create one hidden theme screen in this theme, theme screen you will put one level let's say in this level um, so you will go to home you will change Arial let's say you want it a little bigger because of heading or sub heading you will come here and change the color like this 51 51 51 and 100 okay or let's say for now I am doing this then I will put another text box okay in this text box what I will do is put a real put again uh, 24 let's say I will put some border color Got it. now I will name it LBL style Here I'll put txt style like that. Now what I will do is I will take it go to my screen, not my screen. I'll create a new screen for for this demo. Delete it. Go to an uh, form. Go to title, report name, what does it say? Okay. I'll go here. Go to in the color. Come here. Paste it. Dot color. Okay. So it will be the cross reference. So whenever I will change here, let's say tomorrow the color code getting change or client is asking you to give some red kind of things okay so you will come here come here it not really get change okay so that's all uh, i hope you like this video uh, let me know if you have any connect if you, if you have any question okay thanks for watching